a better hockey go. player at that time than I was when I was older. But, but uh, yeah, I, I remember specifically, I used to lose those orange, orange hockey balls in this really thick hedge that was wrapped around Shannon's house. And it was just a really strange coincidence how, yeah. that, how life works like that. What a small, small world, yeah. that's for sure. So when I first heard that you guys were heading out on the Boys of Fall tour, I thought, oh, no, because you guys are such big hockey fans. You're going to miss out on a lot of hockey. Obviously, that's not the case. So what are you guys doing when you're not on the road and there isn't a hockey game to watch? How, how are you guys passing the time? Sulking, walking down the street, <laughs> wiping our tears. <laughs> we had to select the band. We had to pick really funny people to play with us, to entertain us for the, for the off time. I think we succeeded in that. Well, as you can tell in the studio here, we do have a tabletop hockey game, and we do have a trophy that we're going to give away. So uh, in between commercials and songs, we're going to get you guys to uh, face off against one another. And uh, A.J. Keller, everybody give A.J. a big round of applause. There's something I whipped up this morning. Beautiful trophy. You know, maybe it's a guy thing, but A.J., why don't you tell everybody originally what you wanted the cup to be? Well, I was thinking the actual cup that you use for hockey, the jock strap cup. And, and he wanted me to wrap it up in tin foil. And I said, no. But mine's been used for far too many years. <laughs> oh, you know, we, we didn't want to bring it in. So. <laughs> and then we thought maybe we can use the boss's bra, right? You know, like the double CFCW <laughs> cup. I can wrap that up in tin foil, but there wasn't enough tin foil to do something like that. <laughs> we have Chad Brownlee and Dallas Smith in our studios. Uh, again, 3 o'clock, they're putting on a show on our stage here at West Edmonton Mall. Let's talk about your lives before country music because both of you had uh, great careers before country music. So Dallas, let's start with you because I know a lot about you because you used to be the lead singer of a rock band. How yeah. cool was that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good way to spend my 20s. I traveled all over the world and um, played in, uh, you know, we did a, a DMZ in South Korea, did shows there. We went to Afghanistan and played shows there so it took me all like literally everywhere every corner of the, the world um, I was very very lucky to have those life experiences and I know I'm you know, I, the older I've gotten the more country music has been in my in my life and I just decided to make that switch and using all those things I've learned over on this side oh we're very glad to have you here over on this side too now uh, Chad Brownlee I know we've kind of made reference to this he used to be a hockey player and you majored in psychology as well yeah <laughs> that was, so when uh, did the switch to country music happen? Tell us a little bit about that too. He's been counseling me in the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a massive bill at the end of the tour. Yeah, I'll send your invoice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was definitely a different life for sure. But uh, you know, music was always something that was there for me. It was a release from the game. I'd come home and uh, you know, I started p playing piano when I was eight years old. Played tenor sax in, in middle school and picked up the guitar at seventeen. And, and then uh, tried my hand in writing. And, just kind of progressed every year and then uh, finally my last year of pro my first and only year of pro I'm, that passion really took over and uh, yeah here we are today but I'm sure there's a lot of things that you learned uh, as a professional hockey player that is carry over to uh, what you do now especially when it comes to, to interviews and all that absolutely yeah no, I, I started doing interviews when I was probably 13 14 years old for the local paper and um, so I started at a very young age and uh, hockey's taught me more for just the things in life and it's made me who I am today. Uh, I wouldn't be the same artist or songwriter um, without those hours and hours in the hockey rink. Um, it really gives you a thick skin. So did the guys ever tease you about you and your guitar and you writing love songs and all that? You know what? It's actually the complete opposite, and it's pretty funny. Um, you know, a big tough guy on the team, we're at a party, and he wants to hear Enrique Iglesias' hero or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're, honestly, the hockey guys are just the biggest supporters and the biggest fans, so yeah, they've been great. All right, more with Chad Brownlee and Dallas Smith in a moment.